Hey everyone, I'm Maddles and today we're going to be looking at another build for Flak in Borderlands 3. This build is revolving around the Stalker tree and is going to be making a lot of use of that action skill that makes you go invisible and run around really fast. Uh, it's going to be fun to play, it's going to be revolving around crits and as I said, being a stealthy Stalker ninja dude. So, let's dive straight in. We're going to begin in the Stalker tree where we'll pick up the action skill Fade Away. This is really what this build all revolves around and essentially it means that you become invisible and you can fire three shots while you're invisible. Each one is guaranteed to be a critical hit. You also gain increased movement speed and health regeneration while this is active. So that is a big boost, 200% critical hit damage, 25% move speed, all very nice. Uh, we're also going to grab our first pet, which is Jabba. Jabba is armed with a pistol, and while accompanied, uh, Flak's move speed is increased by another 5%. So already you're seeing we're getting a lot of move speed. But the good times don't end there, because literally on row 1, we're getting one of the best abilities going for Flak, which is Furious Attack. This is a hunter skill, and after shooting an enemy, Flak gains a stack of Furious Attack. Now, this increases Flak's handling and gun damage, for every stack which decay after a few seconds. Uh, they last for 4 seconds, you can have up to 10 stacks, and a 5 out of 5, it's 2% gun damage per stack. It's pretty nice, and it's, yeah, straight in the first row, which is just lovely. In the second row, we've got a bit of a choice to make depending on whether you're playing solo or in co-op. If you are playing solo, you're going to do 4 points in Eager to Impress. This is a kill skill, which every time Flak kills an enemy, the action skill cooldown is reduced by 1.25 seconds at 4 out of 5. And whenever your pet does it, it's double that. So this is going to mean that you're going to be able to cast Fade Away more and more and more and more and more in high damage situations where you're killing a lot of enemies. Now... The reason I say if you're playing co-op, you're going to have to switch this about a little bit is because if you're in co-op, I get one point in all my BFFs, which means that allies share a portion of Flak's total health regeneration and your pet shares twice the amount of health regeneration. Uh, it's pretty hefty even with one point. It's 17%. Now, you may want to put a point in here depending on how squishy our pets are feeling, uh, but if you're solo, feel free just to go five points in Eager to Impress. Going up into the third row and we get our pets being good boys, very very good boys, because we get Lick the Wounds. This is a one point ability where when you're in fight for your life, your pet will try to revive you. If you're a solo player, you're going to like that. If you're a co-op player, you're still going to like that. It's a good boost to survivability, go for it. Then on this row, we're going to put three points into Turn Tail and Run. Now this is a really nice skill. So while moving, you constantly regenerate health and gain damage reduction. While standing still, you gain gun damage and fire rate. So essentially, if you are taking damage, you're probably going to be wanting to run away screaming uh, like a little girl. That's what I do every time I am about to die. And if you're cloaked, you just stand still, get that bonus gun damage and fire rate to, uh, yeah, nuke people. That leaves you with one more point to get up into the next row. I'm going to stick that in self-repairing system uh, just because that kind of passive health regen is nice. If you've gone with all my BFFs as well, that's going to share to your team as well. So again, this is just adding out a bit of survivability on this row. Don't really need the damage at this point though because hey, Furious Attacks. Moving into row four, and we've got some cool abilities here. So the fast and the furious, that is a great pun of a skill name. Um, you basically, when you're above half health, you gain increased gun damage and movement speed. It's pretty hefty at three of three, 25% gun damage, 10% move speed. Get it, it's good. At the other side is a bit of an interesting one, Hidden Machine. Now, this only gives 12% damage buff at 2 out of 5, which is where I've got it, uh, compared to uh, what would be 18% if you put 3 in there. Now, the difference is, is that the Fast and the Furious only gives you gun damage, whereas Hidden Machine gives you total damage. I think I'm going to go 3 of 3 and 2 of 5, uh, but again, when we start testing this, it could end up switching. Moving into the next row, we start getting some funky stuff. So Rage and Recover is an ability, it's a kill skill. Whenever you kill an enemy and your health isn't full, you regenerate a portion of your missing health per second. Now, it's quite a steep amount, but that's only if you've taken health damage or your pet has. With shields um, and the fact that we're going to be using the active ability uh, to cloak around everywhere, I'm not sure how necessary it's going to be, but it could be quite nice for the pet. So I'm going to get one point in there. I'm then going to jump back up uh, max out uh, Eager to Impress as well, and also max out Sikkim. Sikkim means that the attack command for the pet has a lower cooldown and a pretty hefty increase to damage. Um, so that's going to help our pet do a bit more pew pew. 
that means that we've then got enough points to go and get our capstone, which is the power inside. Uh, the power inside is that whenever Flak and Flak's pet gain increased damage, whenever the action skill is active. Uh, if Flak is at a full health, that damage is doubled. So that's 25% normal or 50% if you're sitting there with the full health on Flak. That's a massive damage increase. It could also warrant some more points going into Rage and Recover, uh, or maybe into Self-Repairing System, uh, or into All My BFFs if you want to help your team out. But again, I think we've got a lot of survivability here, and a lot of kind of damage and health recovery just passively built in. Just before we finish up in the Stalker Tree, we of course need to get our Augments and our evolution of our Jabber. So the Jabber evolution I'm going to be going for is the Gunslinger. It gives him an SMG and Flak gains movement speed and critical hit damage, uh, which is nice. It also means that when Flak issues a kill command, the Gunslinger equips a Rocket Launcher to attack the target. I like Rocket Launchers um, on my pet, that sounds even more awesome. Plus the movement speed and critical hit damage, nice. The other option here was Beefcake Jabber, which gives him a shotgun, um, and the attack command basically means that it summons a melee weapon to deliver a powerful attack to knock enemies back, and gives you a bit more health. Personally, I'm going to go for the damage route, because I like doing damage. Um, meanwhile, over on the augments, the first one is Unblinking Eye. This is so good! Oh my goodness, it's so good. So, successive hits on the same target increase Flax critical damage per hit. It resets every hit, but uh, every three hits rather. Um, so, that's 75% per hit. So, 75 plus 75 plus 75, that's going to be pretty big, then it resets. This is really what's going to make you absolutely mow down bosses and hard enemies. I can't believe how good that skill is. And then the second argument we're going to grab here is until you are dead, uh, which is the health regeneration and movement speed of fadeaway persists for a short duration after the skill has ended. Uh, at 10 seconds, that's pretty nice because the duration of fadeaway is 15 seconds, so it's a decent increased time in the health regeneration um, and also the 25% move speed. So yeah, this is... This is just beautiful augments. It's going to synergize so well with the rest of the stalker tree and really make you a powerhouse. Moving over to the Hunter Tree, we're going to grab one point initially in Leave No Trace. This is whenever you score a critical hit, there's a chance for one ammo to be added to the magazine of your current weapon. Now remember, of course, because we're using uh, the beautiful fadeaway active ability, every shot's guaranteed to critical hit during that, so this is just a nice big boost. We're then going to put four points in Interplanetary Stalker, which is a Hunter kill skill, uh, which is whenever Flak kills an enemy, uh, you gain a stack of this Interplanetary Stalker, which increases all, increases all damage damage dealt and also gives you an extra bonus based on whether it was a human, robot or beast you were attacking. Uh, depending on whether you're doing more boss play or kind of hard enemy play or mobbing, uh, you may want to put three points into Leave No Trace and just two points into Interplanetary Stalker here. Moving into row two, we're going to go straight into head count. Again, this synergizes beautifully uh, with Fade Away because of the critical hit guarantee. And that's whenever you score a critical hit, there is a chance that your action skill cooldown is reduced. This means you can use Fade Away more, get more critical hits, reduce its cooldown more, and it's just good. So get three points of that. You then need two more points. Go and put them in Leave No Trace so we get three of three there. And if you'd done it the other way and you'd left the points out of Interplanetary Stalker, put that up to four at this point. Two Fang is our next ability, and that is going to get maxed out straight away. It gives you a 25% chance to fire an extra projectile per shot. That is going to be really, really good. Um, so definitely go for that. Then jumping into the next row, put one point into the most dangerous game because it will just give you an extra hunter skill, which even at one point is really nice. It means that whenever you kill a badass or stronger enemy, you gain increased critical hit damage, gun damage, and handling for a long time, plus some cash. Now, obviously, because we're going to be getting so many crits um, with our active skill fade away, this is going to work really nicely with that. Once you put one point in there, put the next three points into big game. And the reason we do that is because big game buffs all your hunter skills uh, at 30% in effect and 100% more duration uh, at three of three. Then go and stick one more point back into the most dangerous game to unlock the next row. Finishing off this build, we're going to go up and get one point in Galactic Shadow. This is really why I chose to go the Hunter Tree, because Flak deals increased critical hit damage, and enemies are less likely to attack you. It's a plus 15% to critical hits, which with Fade Away giving those guaranteed critical hits is just going to be so, so good. Uh, that leaves you with one point and one point only. I chose to put it in the most dangerous game, uh, because that extra gun damage and crit damage, again, is just going to be lovely. And that rounds off the build.
So that rounds off this build guide for Flak, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this out because Fadeaway is going to get a lot of cooldown reduction. We're going to be just invisible most of the time, dealing crits, moving really fast, and our uh, pet gets a rocket launcher. What more could you want? Well, there's one thing more you could want, and the only downside I can really see from this build is that uh, you don't have a source of radiation damage coming from it, and that's because you get the evolved uh, version of Jabba, which gives him the rocket launcher rather than the radiation barrel. Depending on whether you've got another source of radiation available to you, you may want to switch that, but I think it should be fine. This is just so high damage output with the crits uh, and the crit damage stacking, and also it's got so much survivability through the health regen. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of this build, if you like it, if you're going to be running it, or if you think there could be any improvements. Um, and as always, leave a comment, like, subscribe, bell, that sort of stuff. Plus, if you want to watch me and quite often my wife on stream together, check out twitch.tv forward slash maddles.